Hey guys, it's Caroline and today's video is going to be a July favorites video. I've been waiting like all month to film a favorites video. I don't know, something about favorites videos I really like and I haven't filmed one in a while. So if you guys want to see that, then stay tuned and be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you're not already subscribed and get this video, I don't know what I'm saying, and give this video a thumbs up if you like it and let's get on into the video. Okay, so my first favorite has been this shampoo and conditioner that I've been using. I switched to this um, OGX Quenching and Sea Mineral Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. It's just like really good. And it's drugstore. It is a little bit higher priced like for a drugstore shampoo and conditioner. I don't really know. But I feel like if you want your hair to look good, then you should pay a little bit extra for what you're cleaning your hair with, if that makes sense. Another hair product that I've been using is also by the OGX brand, and this is the Nourishing Coconut Milk Leave-In Nourishing Milk. So this is like leave-in conditioner, and you just kind of like spray it all in your hair. It makes it really soft and really easy to brush, because another thing that I've noticed, like my hair super, gets super tangly when I get out of the shower, but the conditioner makes it like really soft and easy to brush through and then I just use this oh god I just use this on top just to make it super smooth and smell super good my last hair favorite has been this curling iron and um I went a little crazy today I don't know why I just I think I curled I curled like my hair in like super small pieces but it got like super curly so you I mean this curling iron is I should probably tell you what it is. It's the Remington. It's just from like Target. It's really cheap. It's only like $20 or something like that. It's really good for like the price of it. And I've had this for like four or five years and it still works perfectly fine. And there's like heat adjustment settings and like an on and off obviously. And it gets like, I usually curl my hair on 360 and it does just fine. And it curls really fast and I have to hold a piece on there for like 10 seconds and I have really thick hair. So usually I will do like a section that's like double the size of what I did today. So like a good chunk of my hair at a time and this curls it perfectly fine. Today I kind of did like really, really tiny pieces to get like corkscrew curls. So this is really good if you want a variety of curls. You can definitely do it with this. So moving on to makeup favorites, I have a few of these. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. This is the Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream and Anti-Aging hydrating serum and this has SPF 50 and so what so this is really really good it literally makes your skin look so pretty I have two of these I have one that's in the color fair I believe and this one's in the color light so I use this one in the summer and then fair in the winter and like I've gone through it like pretty fast the other one is there's like less than this so I'm probably going to get a new one but it just has like a pump on the end and you can get this at Ulta, I think. I don't think that they have It Cosmetics on Sephora. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure you can get it at Ulta. And it's literally so good. I've heard so many people rave about this, and it's definitely one of my favorite um, foundation, BB cream, CC cream type things. This is an old favorite, so I'm pretty sure I've had this in like a favorites before from last year, but I've been using this a lot more lately. This is just the Kylie Cosmetics, the burgundy palette, and I've been using this like every day lately. I don't know why. I used it today, and today I just use like these two colors here, these two matte colors, and then like a little bit of this matte color, but basically you can create so many different looks because there's some reds, some golds, some like orangey tones. There's some really dark colors for like a smoky eye, and then there's also like a really bright highlighter color. So this is just all around good. Another eye product that has been my favorite is this Stila Magnificent Metal Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow, and this is in the color Rose Gold Retro. Again, this one, they sell these at um, Sephora and Ulta, but this color is like a specific to Ulta color. This is just like a really like, what is it, like rose gold color? Oh God, I'm going to drop it. It's just like a really rose gold color as it says in the name. Yeah, it's super duper pigmented and it looks really good in photos. So I definitely recommend getting this. My next favorite has been a new sort of like discovery. And these are, I have only like 11 of them. I don't know. So these are the ColourPop um, like ultra matte. There's some, I have a variety of them. I have some that are the ultra glossy, some of them that are the ultra matte, and some of them that are the ultra satin ones, and I have 11 of them as I said. my Some of my favorites, the one that I am wearing today 
is this one. This is the Ultra Satin Lip in the color 951. So I really like this one. It's definitely a lot darker on your lips than it is in the tube. And one of my favorite things about these is they're $6. Like, you can't beat that. And they're literally so good. And I have so many because they ha they recently had a buy two get buy three get one free buy two get one three free something like that so that's like a really good deal I stocked up on those when they had their sale. My last kind of beauty favorite is this perfume. This is the one that I've been recently wearing. This one's from Urban Outfitters. I don't really know what brand it is. It's just like it's called or let's see. It's in the scent Macaroon Rosé, so I really like this one. It smells super, like, florally, I guess. It smells like roses, and roses is one of my favorite scents. So if you're not a super florally person, I wouldn't recommend this, but they do have a lot of other ones, and they're, like, they're pretty cheap for a perfume. Fashion fa favorites? That's a mouthful. For fashion favorites, lately I've been wearing my Birkenstocks, like, all the time. These are just, like, the regular two-strapped ones. I don't know. I'm pretty sure these are in like the color like oiled tobacco or something like that. I don't really know. They have like the rose gold little um, buckle. They're super cute and they're so, 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 so comfortable. You can literally walk like 10 miles in them and your feet will not hurt. My last favorite doesn't really have a category, but it's this book and it's the hashtag girl boss book by Sophia Amoruso. If you didn't know, she's the founder of Nasty Gal, which is a um, clothing store, I guess you would say. This book is literally so amazing. I'm actually not finished with it. I'm actually, I'm like almost done. I'm on like right here, so I have this much left. But this book is so good. If you want to be like, I want to be a fashion designer when I'm older. So if you have any like aspiring things you want to be, it doesn't even have to be a fashion designer. She is a fashion designer, so it kind of helps if that's what you want to do. But it basically just talks about ways to be like a girl boss, like get things done, be productive, how like, how she kind of went through it because it's sort of like her, her story of how she went from like rags to riches. So I definitely recommend this book if you haven't already read it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. I'm pretty sure that my next video or in two videos is going to be a school supplies haul. I've already gone school supply shopping. I know there's a ton of people that already have school videos up. I didn't want to start it too early because I'm still like I don't want to go back to school but that's definitely coming soon so stay tuned and be sure to subscribe so that you won't miss that and I will see you guys on let's see what day is it. I will see you guys next week. Bye guys.